Hello tech peeps, I am Amit and I welcome you to my YouTube channel VoiceCard. In today's lab, uh, we are discussing a very important feature of CUCM that is extension mobility. Uh, what it is, is a Cisco extension mobility allows users to temporarily access their phone settings such as line appearances, services and speed dials from other phones within your system. If you have a single phone like for example that will be used by multiple workers uh, that those who are working with you for example you can configure this feature that is extension mobility so that the individual users can log into the phone and access their settings without affecting settings on other user accounts so this feature we can use in this way so uh, in today's lab we will see that how you can configure this feature on your uh, soft phone or hard phone and what steps you need to follow to configure this so let's go and see first thing that we need to go to the CUCM uh, enter with your with your credentials okay we are inside now so first thing that we need to go to the navigation and on serviceability because we need to uh, start few services to uh, configure these things so go to the tools and service activation from here we need to select the server yes so uh, first thing that you need to uh, activate this service that is Cisco extension mobility click on check yes and then save okay so uh, in few seconds it will refresh and then the st you can see that service has been started so go to the administration now and go to the phone so uh, choose the extension number on which you want to activate your extension mobility for us I am taking 22003 this is our phone and open it So uh, from here you can see that in the phone configuration there is a feature that is extension information. So check mark on extension mobility and then click on save. So first thing has been done now and go to the related links and then click on subscribe and unsubscribe click on go and from here you need to select the service but as of now there is no service so go to the user, ma user management and okay device device settings and from here you need to select phone services okay click on find so uh, to create the extension mobility service let's give the name that is extension mobility You can define the description as well and uh, here is the service URL you need to enter so in my description uh, you can you can take out this URL and according to that you can modify the IP address of your call manager so click on enable and then save it so we have created the extension mobility services you you can update it yes and now go to the device setting then device profile we need to create a profile as well for the user click on add new select device profile that is soft phone we are using in this case so CIPC here it is Cisco IP communicator click on next then next and here you can provide the name So that is extension mobility so this is the name we are creating for profile here you can describe this description and phone button template you can you can choose the standard one uh, standard one for Cisco IP communicator scroll it down you'll you'll get it yes here it is and then click on save so now you have created the 
profile as well create a D DN so the directory number whatever you want to you can give it uh, 22006 for in this case choose the root partition and then CSS and then click on save so now we have uh, go to the related links and then select subscribe and then subscribe because we have to subscribe this extension mobility service from here click on next and then subscribe so to this profile we have subscribed the extension mobility service you can close it now go to the devices okay and user oh uh, sorry and users create a end user as well for this and this is the uh, you are you you are creating this for your username and password for these things you you need to enter while logging into the extension mobility so whatever the username and the password you want to give you can give and you also need to reset the pin as well to log in so select a pin password and user id for yourself uh, here you need you define the first name last name middle name and all the required details you you can give over here so in this case we, we take it as a test and then click on save so below you you need to uh, this is the extension mobility select it and then associate this okay so we have now assigned the extension mobility to the end user as well now go to the devices and then select phone here open it go to the subscribe and then subscribe in the same way we did for the device profile yes now save it you can reset your phone And yes, we are uh, now almost done. So do one thing, just uh, go to their soft phone and then click on services. So here it will ask for user ID and the pin you have created in the end user. So provide the username for our username is 22006. And pin you you can whatever the pin you have created you need to enter here click on submit login unsuccessful okay so here it is giving us the error 205 we need to go to the end user for this let's check what we have what we are missing now go to the end user click on our user 22006 okay so here okay you we need to assign this extension mobility services and click on save now and now go try to the, go to the soft phone click on services enter user id and then pin the pin you need to enter click on submit now and here we go login successful so uh, click on exit now uh, it's yes so now it's our extension mobility profile that we have created you are login by this now we try to log in to 22005 and it yes now it's connected why it is showing us 22004 because we have made the forwarding feature on 22005 so that's that's why if you are dialing 22005 it is going to 22004 and if you see you you the call has been forwarded to 22004 so first thing let so that is how it uh, works and how you can configure the extension mobility service if you can see you you can check the call yes here it is coming now I have removed the call forwarding feature that is why it's going through so this is how we can create the extension mobility services and how it works
Thanks for giving time to my videos. Please like and subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notifications. And if you have any queries, do comment in the comment box. We'll come up with the solutions. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.